Hey my fellow gem gems, so I'm doing these readings, I'm going to be doing air sands, water sands, fire sands, you know, but uh, I'm doing smaller videos so it's easier for me to do. So these will be timestamps, so I'm starting with Gemini. So Gemini for this new moon in Taurus, I'm quite excited. Um, it is a very powerful new moon, um, is this one, because we will have, and I've had to write them down because there's seven, um, at the exact time that the, the moon goes new, we have Jupiter, the lunar north node, uh, Mercury, the asteroid Vesta, Uranus, and the sun and the moon all in the sign of Taurus. Um, so it's bringing on like a more potent energy because you're carrying like um, it's powerful. It's it's seven celestial forces. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like quite ooh, I'm excited. So I'm going to do these a little bit different. I am going into my empowerment deck, um, but the Taurus with all this energy, it's it's so manifestational, especially in regards to like finances and security and safety and you know whether that be in love or finances you know because taurus is real by venus which does um rule over finances and love um i'm quite lucky because i'm a gemini sun and a gemini rising but i'm also a taurus stellium i've got seven placements in taurus i think that maybe that's why i'm a bit excited but it works for everybody this taurus energy you know so i want to start off with the psychic tarot deck for this one. Oh, and we've got a flyer Firm foundations a four. So the number four is about security and stability and firm foundations. You know, this new moon energy is bringing in um, a vibration for Geminis to feel grounded, to feel like, you know, I know where I am in life, you know, especially in health as well. It's a good, really good time to start new things in health. Um, I feel like Gemini, the mountains that you see before you, I feel like it's like, it's not as scary anymore. The mountains are going to kind of shrink to hills and you're going to, you know. So there could have been somewhat on your mind with that. Yep. What we're getting stability in? Mental conflict. And especially that like, thoughts create, you know, thoughts, words, it's all manifestational energies. So you've got a four and a two there, which is the six. Six is about peaceful of harmony and balance. So I feel like Gemini's, I feel like this Taurus moon, new moon is going to bring you more down to earth, feeling grounded, out of the head, out of the busy head, especially anxiety wise, you know, because I saw the mountain shrink into the hill. Um, I don't feel like things are as bad as you think you may think they are right now. I feel like things are going to be changing. Yeah. And then you've got your sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra is your womb or your sexual organs. It deals with relationships, partnerships, children, parents, generational karmic energy. But this is the main creative energy as well, your sacral chakra. So I do feel like with this new moon in Taurus, um, with the twos being there as well. So now I'm looking and you've got four and four, which is an eight. It's karmic energies. Um I feel like it's the it's a good time for brand new fresh starts, especially in creativity, uh, which is really weird because I've literally just I started blitzing all my house and decorating. I'm going a bit mad um, with it, so I'm going into the empowerment. I do feel like it's time to get creative. It could be in finances. We'll we'll see what where we're going with this because I'm getting free from each. So for my Gemini, I want empowerment around the new moon. Elijah. So, Elijah is my male guide. He guides my words. So, there could be important conversations uh, to be had around the new moon that are going to set you, like, going forward. There may be um, even uh, new opportunities, like, if you're going for, like, interviews, you know, that type of thing, or new people coming in. Um, so, again, getting creative with your words is going to be big. And then we've got the ruins. I like this anyway because we've just been through that Scorpio full moon energy, which is like complete endings, transformation. It's the death energy. Taurus is that like kind of rebirth energy. And it's it's like guarded with love because of Venus. And look, you've got something brand new starting. It's about nurturing the seedling rather than trying to rebuild from the past. It's all about the new Gemini. It's all about the new... I feel like this Taurus full moon is going to, you know, it's like you're feeling lighter. 
that's what i feel that's what i feel i feel like you're feeling lighter we do have the haunted card the haunted card is about looking back over the past so definitely i keep getting this air energy and i feel like it is about cutting cords could definitely well be within like sexual partners past sexual partners relationships that type of thing i feel like this is a really good time to work on building uh, on cutting those cords you've got to do the cutting the cutting of the cords um which is a release but it's also about manifesting because what you're manifesting is something a lot better i will clarify a little bit for my geminis the night of earth so you've been looked after i like the night of earth it's my favorite card because no matter what he sets the goal, he's going to get there, even no matter what like kind of falls in his path, he will go around it, maybe that's why I kept seeing the mountain falling down, the night of earth, loyal, dedicated, honourable, kind, earth, we're in Taurus, time to buckle down and get things done on your commitments, the guardian angel, so I feel like there's a fear about going forward with something, but you don't have to actually be fearful, because you're being looked after, we've got the two of water, some of my Geminis are manifesting relationships the two of water is the two of cups um and it can also be like forgiveness the positive resolution of conflicts in the past you know it, but it is about manifest i feel like this is what you want you want things to kind of like flow with the two of cups being there and you've got balance archangel zadkiel the need for balance and moderation cooperation and compromise wait for perfect timing i feel like a lot of my gemini's are actually manifesting conversations with new people but i'm going to get a little bit of clarification so in the first row it seems to be about stability and security yeah there's some kind of like separation energy around like you're feeling separated like you don't belong in a certain place that's what you're releasing because we've got messages in dreams so your dreams could be very funky man were last night and look i'm actually i actually like fostered a baby jackdo two years ago and it was this time and i and read him and i dreamt of him last night and actually checked up on him this morning to check his aura out uh, messages in dreams so your dreams could be quite funky at the minute but then going forward you've got action you've got the courage to take that action and look you've got jupiter and jupiter's in taurus tomorrow when we go into that new moon energy beginnings so it's it's brand new beginnings maybe you have felt anxious but i feel like you're just going to be going boom yeah you're coming out of sabotage out of like the guilt feeling that's what you're getting rid of because you're going towards fulfillment of your own wishes so i actually love that reading so whatever you are wishing for you've got to have the courage to take the action to go out there and get it I see people being significant, but I also see that security, that that seems to be um, very dominant in the reading, security. Um, so I just want to make a quick note, and we're going to go into Libra. Libra, 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 what have we got from the Libras for the new moon in Taurus? So, as I've just been telling Gemini, this is a special one because at the time when the moon goes new, we also have, and I brought them all down because there's seven, uh, we've got Jupiter, the lunar north node, Mercury, asteroid Vesta, Uranus, the sun and the moon all in the sign of Taurus. So, it's amplifying, it's magnifying that energy um, of manifestation. Um, you know, it's it's powered by like seven celestial forces. So it's an exciting one. I know I'm getting a bit excited, you know, but if you know me, you know me. <laughs> and you never know what you're going to get. So, Libra, we are getting out of karmic energies, trapped in fear, anxieties, that type of thing. You're ending that type of thing. That's what you want. You want to get out of that worry. You're manifesting better times. Yeah, you're manifesting rest and reassurance. You know, rest and re like rejuvenation. A four. Gemini got a four here as well. Security, stability. So that is perfect because it's coming in with that Taurus energy. Taurus is ruled by Venus, which is, you know, it rules finances and love. But 
it's earth air so it brings us back down to earth and especially for air signs it's a really good time because it's bringing us down it's grounding us so we can like think and you know kind of get out of the head and make like decisions more clearly so i do like this energy for the air signs because you're going to be seeing more clearly as well. The seven is going to definitely be significant to you. 2023 is a seven year. But again, we do have seven celestial uh, forces at work with this new moon. And I feel like you're going to see the truth of certain situations. I feel like it's more with your own thoughts though. Because these are all blue. It's all about your own thoughts. Um, that You've got to be careful with your thoughts. Thoughts and manifestations. You know, what we think. The vibration we're on. It's all about manifestations. So, empowerment, the crown chakra, maybe some funky dreams coming in, but you will be channeling, like, it's about getting out of your head, the the brain, and allowing, you can, you know, clearing them senses. I feel like this Taurus new moon is bringing in a message that there's a need to empty the bank vault of the brain. Meditation, it's time to clear the brain, even if you can just do it for five minutes. Do you know what I mean? It will help. Five minutes a day, it's nothing. You know, I get people all the time saying, oh, I don't have time for meditation, but you have time to sit down and watch a soap opera. Or Do you know what I mean? There's no excuses. No excuses. Even five minutes before bed. There's a need to empty the bank vault because you're going to be coming up. The, this is getting creative, you know. The crown chakra is getting creative. You're going to be downloading quite a lot with this Taurus new moon. Yeah, we've got Call of the Wild. Most definitely, we've got the dream catcher. Animals could be very, like, prevalent at the moment to yourselves. I'm a, gem, I'm a double Gemini. Last night, I dreamt of this big black dog that I keep dreaming of. But I also dreamt of the little black jack doll that I hand-reared uh, two years ago. So I've checked up on him today to make sure he's okay uh, where he is now. Call of the Wild, it's about want, needing to be around nature. It's about wanting to be grounded. It's like the, dragging you into that Taurus energy so that it can ground you. So you can make them decisions in going forward. Your main, re, your main energy is all about grounding. Feeling grounded and safe and secure in where you are right now. Especially with your thoughts. Yeah, on top of the deception and ember, we've got conflict. And I feel like this could be you are seeing the truth in certain situations. So if you're manifesting and if you're saying, right, I just want to be happy, be ready for to be released from what's not making you happy. That's why I always say, be careful what you wish for. Because you just might get it. You know, that is the situation. I feel like you are some kind of truth. You know, you're going to... But I feel like this is you coming to some kind of epiphany on this truth. Yeah, because the moon is definitely playing a part. We've got the sign of Pisces there, the moon. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, releasing fears that are holding you back. So if there's something that you thought that was going on behind the scenes or you felt a bit paranoid, that type of thing, I do feel like some kind of information is coming forward for my Libras. But I feel like it frees you. I feel like it, it's more of a psychic energy. It's more of a, um, a spiritual energy. Yeah, see, the world. The world is doing this for you. A job well done, joy, contentment and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. You're staying on that path. The world is saying that your world is, is completely shifting. There's something moving. There's something changing. So you've got two major arcanas there. Two jumped out for you. Three major arcanas. Four major arcanas. Because your outcome is the wheel of fortune, a time of positive change, a situation will suddenly move forward and so uh, fortune is on your side. You are man, I, I wanna I wanna be a Libra this month. And then we've got the star, Aquarius energy, happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans. You are on the right path. So four major arcanas, Libra. Come on. You know, so I want to get some advice on this. You are si seriously flipping things over. I think that's inner conflict. Because you're going to remember who you are. You're remembering that you are spirit. Having a human experience. You are going through your awakening, Libra. I'm leaving it there because I absolutely love it. This manifestational energy, you need to put out there what you want. Because you will get it. But again, be careful what you wish for. So I'm going to leave you with that because that is just amazing. I love it. So on to my Aquarius's. Luminette, Libra had a strong one then.
my Aquariuses. So the Taurus New Moon, and I haven't even told you what it's about, so I won't turn that card over just yet. Taurus New Moon, very, very powerful one. As we go into the New Moon, we've actually got, um, at the exact time the Moon goes new, we've got a lot of things going on in Taurus. So we've got Mercury in Taurus, we've got Jupiter in Taurus, which is the planet of luck, which I'm excited about. The Lunar North Node in Taurus, Asteroid Vesta in Taurus, uh, Uranus in Taurus, the Sun and the Moon will also be in Taurus at the same time. So it's magnifying um, this potent manifestational power because it, it's powered by seven celestial forces. So if you can tell, you know, I'm like on a spiritual Red Bull today. So, and you've starting off with a seven. So seven is significant. And you've got them seven powerful celestial forces working with you. Standing your ground, stand, feeling grounded, feeling safe and secure in yourself. It's like, I know that I'm deserving of my manifestations. You've got to stand your ground with that. You've got to stand your ground, hold your boundaries. So maybe you're wanting to bring better people in or nicer energies at work, you know, that type of thing. You've got to stand your ground with your manifestations. Otherwise, the universe is like, well, do they want it or do they not want it? You know? Yeah. You've got to make a decision and stand by it. So I feel like this is for you. Movements, choices and decisions could definitely be in finances, relationship, where you live, you know, that type of thing. Strong manifestational energies. Le uh, Aquarius, I nearly called you Libra then. Maybe you've got Libra in your chart. Always check your moon, your rising and your Venus signs. Because you're going back to zero. You're going, well, it's not back to zero. You're not going backwards. You're starting at zero. You're shutting doors behind you with that Scorpio full moon that we've just had. This is powerful. You're going for them new beginnings. It's like you're realising, what have I been missing? Why have I been keeping myself so small? You know? So make the decision. Don't put things off. Because I'm getting this energy, Aquarius, where like there's certain things that you've wanted and you put, you've put you been putting it off and it's like, I'll do it alert day. I'll, no, this new moon is saying, get them manifested. Get them on your list. Get them on your wish, you know, your bucket list or whatever it is. You know you're going to go and do it. So I'm getting adventures for my Aquariuses. So in the empowerment advice... You are being guided. You could be being guided towards new opportunities, being guided by spirit. There's also a person, if you can just see that. I actually drew a shadow in that. You feel like you're being guided towards people as well. So, But you've got the spiritual lantern. If, you know, even though the future is dark and your manifestations, you don't exactly know how you're going to fully get there. That doesn't matter. You you know, it you, doesn't matter doesn't matter how it's going to come in. It matters that you want it. And that's all that matters. So every step forward will be illuminated if you are true and you stand in your, you stand in your own power towards your manifestations. Yeah. On top of movements, choices and decisions, you've got choices in direction. Aquarius, there's a lot of decision making that's going to be happening with this new moon. A lot of epiphanies in the ways and choices and decisions that you've been making and that you will be making. So it's very, very, it's showing it's very powerful because you're going towards new beginnings, but you are the master of your own destiny. So where are you going to be going? You're going to be using your third eye. So the third eye sees the bigger picture of everything. You know, and it's why everything had to happen that way. The third eye is pure truth. Maybe shut your eyes and look with your third eye whilst you make these choices and decisions. These big decisions coming in. So I want to see what they're entailing. But it's life-changing decisions. Yeah, see, you've got to stand your ground because you've got an, you've got an anxious energy. There's an energy of you that is maybe it's about like what other people think. Do you know what I mean? Because they're telling you, stand your ground. Go forward. She don't need a cheerleader. She, she knows she's going towards something. And she's not scared of doing it on her own. The idea there is to not get anxious. So I feel like you've been releasing anxiety. Let's see, a lack of self-confidence. Afraid, afraid to take the action. But now it's almost like, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm going for it. Because boom, boom, you've got choices, decisions. You've, you, you know, they've got to be made. You're going to be making a lot of different decisions with this new moon it's coming out yep we've got the moon and we've got the empress taurus energy there taurus moon. <laughs> important psychic insights events behind the scenes releasing the fears that are holding you back aquarius i love this and then you've got the empress lavish abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others 
the empress is a power manifester she is a pure manifester she sows the seeds and she sits back chilling she don't have to go and like sit there watching them 24 hours a day because she knows that she's going to reap what she's sown strong ass energy and you've got two yeah, because you're coming out of, we've got the four of water. You need to be careful that you don't go back into this anxious energy when you're manifesting. You know, feeling like you're missing out on something or feeling like discontent because you need to open your eyes to the possibilities and that is coming on top of the third eye. I feel like you need to actually close your physical eyes in order to see the opportunities that are ahead of you because going forward, you've got the six of earth. So it's about, again, balance, peaceful harmony and balance with the six of earth. Gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving loans and paying off debts. You're receiving, you're going for balance and you're making the right choices. I feel like you're manifesting some kind of freedom, um, especially financially. I feel like Aquarius says you, it's about your security and your finances and things, which is perfect. Taurus is ruled by Venus. Venus rules love and finances. So go for it. Absolutely love it. Lots of love to you all. Bye.